So I'm starting out with freshly washed hair. I'm using this wash cap. It makes washing so easy and I can pour the water directly onto her head and it's available at taylorbeautyproducts.com. So her hair is in a bun and I like putting it in a bun while it's still wet because um, wet hair gives the best stretch. So for this hairstyle, I'm going to go ahead and divide it into four sections. And the products that I'll be using is the Taylor Beauty Moisturizing Mist as well as the Everything Butter. And I'll also be using rubber bands for this. I have um, videos on how to put rubber bands in as well as take them out. So I'm putting the rubber bands onto her hair and I'm trying not to do it too tight because I don't want to hurt her head. Next, I'm going to go ahead and detangle the hair very gently. You want to start from the ends and work your way up to the top of the ponytails. Next, I'm adding the mist to put some moisture in. Here's a tip. Always communicate with your child and ask if it hurts. This will allow you to come up with a different technique and understand what's going on with your child. And always remember to praise your child for being so good and patient. This will make it a bonding experience for both you and your child. You're doing such a good job, Summer. Good job, Boopa. Oops, I'm sorry. So next, I'm going to begin braiding her hair. And I'm going to add a generous amount of the butter. This is going to keep her hair moisturized so that I don't have to do a lot of moisturizing later when I style her hair. So because the hair is already in a rubber band, um, it's not going to hurt, so you want to kind of braid the hair as tightly as possible. The tighter you ravel the braid, the more stretched the hair will be. I prefer braids as opposed to twists because it allows the hair to be more stretched. Once you get to about three quarters of the braid, you can begin to twist. You don't want to braid it all the way to the ends because this will create knots when you are taking the braids out. So next I'm going to go ahead and do a bantu knot by raveling the braid around the rubber band. So here is the completed hairstyle. It is in four bantu knots. She's going to keep her hair like that for the rest of the day until tonight when I move on to the next hairstyle which will be my mini twist. I like to do this because it lasts a week and I won't have to stretch it. If Stretching is a great way to make your child's hair more manageable. If you don't choose to do protective hairstyles like twists and braids, stretching is also good if you let your child wear ponytails throughout the week because it will allow you to create the hairstyle without less tangles. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and thanks for watching.